Hello everyone, my name is Prabhjit Singh Bhaga and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to re-authenticate the Cisco.com credentials on your Catalyst Center when you upgrade to 2379. Let's get started. All right, so first let's get into why we are doing this. So what we have done with starting 2379 is uh, we have upgraded our authentication server on the backend. And what this is doing is it's making it more secure to store your Cisco.com credentials. To achieve this, uh, what we have to do is you have to do a one-time re-authentication, which is done via using the email address of your Cisco.com credentials, the same as you use on your Swim or PNP. And while doing this, you will do it via incognito or private mode. Now let's get started with the demo and I will show you how to do it. All right, so what I'm showing here is Catalyst Center with 2.3.7.9 release. After you upgrade to 2.3.7.9, you will see a banner on the top asking you to update your Cisco.com credentials. Click on the Go to Cisco.com credentials to re-authenticate your Cisco credentials. This will take you to settings in Cisco.com where you will again see the banner telling you why we want to re-authenticate. This step has to be done in incognito or private window, so go ahead and open a new incognito window. If you're using Firefox, select New Private Window instead. Now, once you have opened Catalyst Center in incognito or private window again, go to Settings within Cisco.com and now click on Reauthenticate. This will show a pop-up asking you to check if you are indeed in incognito or private window. Click on the checkbox and click Proceed. This will start the activation process where you will be asked to enter your Cisco.com credentials, email address and password. Once you enter both, click on Verify and that's it. Your Cisco.com credentials have now been synced to the new secure authentication infrastructure. You'll also notice that the banner is now gone and your Cisco.com ID is again good to go. All right, I hope this was easy and helpful. Uh, to learn more about Catalyst Center, visit our YouTube channel where we post videos about all the different use cases of Catalyst Center. Thank you so much, take care.